Hi again, today's video was going to be about the GHK Glock 17 and I was going to be testing the standard hop compared to the maple leaf and flamingo rubber that we did in a couple of videos back. However, I ran into an issue um, and I just can't get any gas in these magazines. Now the valves work, the top valves and the bottom valves work. I tried different propane canisters, different adapters and I've just come to, con to, to terms with this pistol just does not like propane. I don't know why. When I was initially testing this pistol, when I did my review of it, I was using regular green gas. Um, so perhaps I need to look into using a different propellant with this. Now, the propane I am using is propane that's been refilled, but none of, none of, none of my other um, rifles or pistols have an issue with that. So for some reason, don't know why, they don't like the propane and uh, this could be a case of the game that I went to and I was filling up with propane I did have a couple of issues on that day so we'll have to look at that in a future video so we're going to do a video on a project um, a project overview today so uh, I'll just get that on the bench and we'll take a look at what we're working with so you may recognize this this is a HPA Mac 11 or uh, well, Mac 10 I can't quite remember are these Mac 10s I think they're Mac 10s aren't they yeah, Mac 10s. Excuse me for that. Uh, this is a, um, I'm not sure whether it's a tin or a copy. I presume it's a copy. Um, Mac 10 with, does it say Marui? Yeah. So it is a Marui. Uh, Mac 10 with a bingo, you know, HPA kit, whatever. And James, who's uh, given this to me to have a look at, has said about the nozzle alignment being really bad. Now, you might not be able to see that on camera because the camera doesn't want to focus. Um, I actually did manage to improve it a bit by just joggling it around, but the, the nozzle isn't aligned. So that's what this is in for. We have to find a fix a way to make sure that that nozzle is perfectly aligned with the hop and the barrel. Now that is all it came in for. Um, got a big chunky suppressor here. That's what it came to me for. And when I was discussing this with uh, James, oh, oh yeah, by the way, another gun from James. Um, when I was discussing this with him. I was overlooking the uh, the Mac 10. This is clear. Obviously, there's no air connected to it anyway. We were discussing this, and he said he was having an issue. Uh, it was not. It wasn't very efficient. He was blowing through his air, and it was a nozzle alignment issue. And I said, "Yeah, I'm sure I can find a fix for this. That's not a problem at all. Whether it be a temporary or an adjustable one, you know, I can help you." And we were having a conversation about this, and I was just, you know, messing about with things as I do. And uh, I was like, well, yeah, I can fix it. Um, but why don't we go one step further? And uh, James says, well, what do you mean one step further? And I said, me messing around with it. I can't remember how these come out now. But yeah, it has to be on safe or fire. I can't remember. Um, and while we're talking about it, I was like, oh, it's uh, not got a very nice barrel in it. And he was like, oh, really? And I started talking about it. And I was like, right, I can help you with this. I can fix the issue. But why not leave it with me? And, you know, we'll take this thing to the next level. So what I'm going to be doing with this um, project, which is just his, his Mac 10, we're going to make it more efficient. We're going to fix the nozzle, nozzle alignment issue and the air seal. That we're going to fix. Then I'm going to chuck in barrel and hop upgrades to get uh, better accuracy, better range. Um, and also I have the ability to make barrels to whichever size I want. Um, so, yeah, not only can we make this thing work, but I'm pretty sure I can guarantee I can make it work better. Um, and I'll also make the barrel longer so it you know matches to the end of the flash hider. As well as that, I was like, well, is this just one of those cheapo 
um, suppressors? Is it a Maruri one? Uh, really don't know. It's got foam in it, so I'm guessing it is a Maruri one. But this is just bog standard foam that's in here. And uh, I was like, well, being a HPA build, we really can, and I'm sure it is quiet already, but we really can take that to the next level because this is just like a tube. So, you know, you've got foam in there, but it's not really doing much. So I was like, not only can I work on this, I can make this suppressor much better as well with some custom laser cut foam. So that's what we're going to do as well. So fix, upgrade, and then really improve this uh, this mock suppressor here. Um, I know YouTube hates the word suppressor, but it's a, it's a fake one. It's not real. Calm down. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that as well. And hopefully, in fact, if I get again, if I get his permission, I'll uh, I'll put up some clips of him using the Mac Ten. And we'll see what this thing, uh, how fun of a gun it was to use. I'm bringing along the rarest and most expensive SMG in my arsenal, the Military Armament Corporation Model 10, which is more commonly known as the Mac 10. It has been custom built with an HPA Polestar engine, which spits out 2,100 RPM, or around 35 rounds per second. So yeah, it's a great uh, fun gun for him to use. However, it's not doing what we want it to do really. We need it to be better. So it's gonna take me a bit of time to work out uh, a fix for this. It's more more time than what's gonna what's gonna be allocated on a, on a video. Uh, it's gonna take me a bit of time to machine a barrel. It's gonna take me a bit of time to measure this up and design come up with some kind of design where we can maximize um, the sound the sound suppression. So while I go do all that hard work, <laughs> this is just an introduction to this. Uh, it wasn't the video I was intended to do. I was gonna, this was gonna be a Glock 17 video. Um, but instead, let's talk about this. This is what I'm gonna be working on. So I've got a few projects of his. I've got the Project Monitor which uh, I'll be working on. We've got a Minecraft project working on. We've got this Mac 10. Uh, I've already done his, his NGRS MP5. Um, I'm gonna be building my AKM as well, and he, he loves his AKM, so perhaps once I finish my AKM, we can take him out to a game and show some performance of the thing. But yeah, this is the, the next thing that's inbound. There's many projects that I'm juggling, so don't worry. I'm trying to just keep things as and when and keep the videos going out. Um, you know, the Glock video didn't work out and then I was going to do another video uh, and, and just, it was a series of things going wrong and I was like, right, let's just clear the bench, put some ink on there to talk about and uh, we'll show the guys what I'm up to. So thanks very much for tuning in and from me and Bench, I'll see you in the next video.